back over a little bit or something. Sure. And then tilt, just tilt that, I guess. Tilt to me just a little bit. Well, not all the way. Hey, y'all. Okay, do you want to see you at all? I'm trying to get us both. All right. All right. Okay, and just tilt that a little bit so that way. All right, so I have my, my ducky shirt on today and my cat hat. She's just ducky. So, yes, so scissors. So what we're doing today is we are Whatever going to... The ones that I've been using. Okay. Um, we have a... You want to lift up this bag a little bit? Yeah. So we have a bag... Uh, Go ahead to back up for this. What? But yeah, so it is like a 15 roll of. This um, is filled with plastic. Towel. I guess it's from like BJ's or whatever. Um, one of our Facebook followers dropped it off to our house. Yes, we do give out our address from time to time. If you really had to find us, you probably could. That's the sad part. Mind um, you, this is not all the plastic we have. Yeah, that's not all the plastic we have. That's so, just from one person, which we did make a little bit of a dent in it. Um, we had some of our plastic that we still had to cut up, but you take bags like this, which are just, <coughs> you know, Target bags. Um, they also have the ShopRite bags. And you take them and you cut them up, which we will obviously do. And give me the bottle. And you cut it, I'm not going to say like small pieces, um, but you do cut them in like, you know. Squares. Squares. Small squares. And you like about take a clean plastic bottle, clean and rinsed with a cap, and you stuff all the plastic into a bottle like this, and in turn, grab a bottle. Um, in turn, what you get is a bottle, or we'll say a brick, that looks like this. Um, so this is stuffed. I'm not to say how many bags are actually really in this bottle, because um, I think I might turn it into like a contest for you guys to guess how much is in, we'll say like this bottle or like an iced tea bottle. Um, and I'll have documented proof to show you how many actual bags are in there. And then maybe do like a give, excuse me, mm, a giveaway. Um, whether it's like the reusable soap, not reusable. Wow, that just sounds weird. Perhaps the, you could win yeah. an eco brick. Uh, oh yeah, you can win an eco brick. <laughs> um, but I think it's a really cool project for like maybe like Girl Scout troops to do, or Boy Scouts, or like a community service organization like Kiwanis. Anyone in the Kiwanis family, I think it'd be really cool to do. Um, for those who will be doing this with like children, um, I know that they're not going to be able to stuff the brick like as tough as it needs to be because there is a weight that it has to meet. Um, but I think if like the kids could at least start it. Obviously, you might also not trust them with scissors, per se. Um, so the plastic may have to be cut for them. And then they can stuff it as much as they can. Maybe <clears> the adults <throat> on scene can, like, jam the plastic in there. We use a knife sharpener. Um, normal people in this world actually use just the handle of, like, um, like a spatula or something like that. But this um, is just cooler. That is cooler. And it's metal, so it's not going to break. I feel like if I pushed a wooden spoon handle in this bottle, um, something wouldn't go right. Now, you do have to be so, careful that you don't break the bottle. Yeah, yeah, don't break the bottle either. Um, but you when you think metal, sure, that does help. Her, uh, you want to make sure that the bottom of this is completely packed. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you get a problem like our first eco brick, yeah. and the bottom is squishy, and it's not supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. That's not going to really do too well. Yeah. If you're making a table or a chair. Yeah. So there's a there's a I'm gonna weight. hit you with a brick. Oh. Okay. So um like I said in the intro, we're not experts. We're not perfect. Um I did our first one or two eco bricks by myself and I kinda had to learn how to cut them. Um so the way that I find it helpful is the way that Chuck's doing it, or if you just make your um, plastic bag into like a square, so if you make the all the edges straight, I know it's a little hard for me to kind of show you guys, but that's why I'm trying to get some good narration. But if you make all your edges straight, so you have a perfect square. So at the end, it's like folded in, as if you're going to fold it to put it away and keep it for storage. Um... But then what I do is 
I fold it in half, the long ways. So there's a crease that goes in between the two handles. So both of my handles are here. I can put my finger in like that. And then what I do is just for video purposes, I will use my scissors the right way. I will cut the handles just straight up. Whoop! I don't always use the handles. Sometimes I do if I'm stuffing like the middle of the bottle. I will use the handles. Um, but there have been some handles that I've thrown away. So then what I do is once I fold the bag in half long ways, which everyone can see, um, I cut. And of course, as we do this, if you guys have any questions or want to reach out to us afterwards with any questions, um, you know, like I said, we're not experts, um, but we try. So now I have, these are actually two bags, see? Well, actually one bag, but cut in two. So and I have strips. And he does it in strips. Um, so then I take my half a bag. And this is roughly about the size that you want. Yeah. Maybe a little smaller. but Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, I'd say that's probably the biggest you want to go. Um, at the bottom and top of your bottles, <coughs> we have found that using the smaller pieces is handy. So now that half a bag that I have, I just cut in half again. Now I'm going to fold it. And you'll see, to me, this is a lot easier than what he's doing because he's cutting individual pieces. When I get done cutting my bag, I'm going to have probably like 16 pieces. But And the other option you own. can do, fold it in half and then cut. And then fold that in half and then cut. And now I have four... Uh, how do I get through? Oh, yeah, okay. Four yeah. pieces. Yeah. All roughly the same size. Yeah. That's a lot quicker than the first way I was doing it. Yeah. Um, maybe I will go. This so. is the exciting part, guys. Hey, how's it going? Chasing America. Ah, hey, billboard. We're, we're making eco bricks. All right, can you grab a bottle? And I'm going to stuff what I have. To... All right, so I have I have all my pieces of plastic, which is, this is just a half of a Target bag. Just a half. Um, but I want to kind of show, just so people don't really have to watch the whole thing. Um, we'll kind of, you take it and you just stuff it in the bottle. It really isn't exciting in the beginning, I'm not going to lie, but this is something that a child can do. Um, you know how they say, like, God works in strange ways? Well, I have to say that I have, um, well, I have really nice nails, right? I've never had nails this length, um, but God gave me one nail that doesn't grow. Um, so if you notice, watch my hand. I'm using... The nail that doesn't grow. So I'm just saying. Um, otherwise, I would have to find another way to stuff this stuff in here. Um, I will tell you that I guess some of like the ink, if you use bags that have like black ink on it, um, you will notice as you stuff these bottles. Uh, the other night you did four of them. Um, by the end, I had some nice. It wasn't a lot, um, but some nice black dye right along my fingertip line. So that was cool. So, explanation. So, we are doing eco bricks, which is um, a way to keep plastic out of the environment. Um, plastic is not recyclable. I don't know. There's so, this whole. Well, there's this supposedly whole. Supposedly, it doesn't degrade. It, yeah, it takes over 400, 400 years. years. Um, there are companies and organizations that, you know, reuse plastic and they make things. Um, for example, Shore Buddies. Uh, which can be found at shore-buddies.com. Um, they take plastic and they supposedly like spin it out and make yarn and they make stuffed animals out of it. So there are companies and organizations that work with plastic and do things with plastic. Um, but in general, plastic is not like a recycled material per se. Um, you know, whatever. Um, 
so what this is is I have found that um, more so this is like an overseas thing. Now I say overseas, uh, meaning not in the U.S. Um, just because I know a lot of people are all over the world. But I found that this is more of like people are building huts and like vegetable gardens and stuff <clears throat> like that um, with these eco bricks. Now, as you see, I'm using the handle. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It all depends. Um, Target likes to put the labels, like when you do curbside, they like to put the paper labels on the handles. I don't use those. It can only be plastic. It can only be cl uh, clean plastic. Um, so you can't use... Um, okay, so you buy a pack of Oreos. Um, you buy them from ShopRite or Pathmark or Stop and Shop or Target or Walmart. Um, you can use the bag that the Oreos were put in at the register, but you cannot use the plastic that the Oreos are wrapped in. Um, and look, I did a half a bag. Um, grab half me a bottle. No, this is not a half a bottle at all. This is like the bottom of a bottle. Uh, well, so, no, I thought you were saying no, I, I did bag, bag, but meant bottle. No. I got you. So then you, after you take some plastic, you take it and you just, this isn't really enough because my my handle stops me. Um, but you want to make sure that you do adequately stuff the bottom pieces um, because if you don't, your weight, A, your weight will be off and B, um, it's <clears throat> probably not going to fare well over time. And also for anyone just joining, uh, once again, this is a, approximately... Can you some that you've done? Uh, stuff them? Sure. This is approximately the size that you want to go with. Yeah, so maybe like, let me see. Maybe like a two by three square is about what you want to do. Um, there's no rhyme or reason as to how you stuff it in the bottle. Um, that's all from one bag, and that's not even the full bag. I still got some in the tote. Yeah, and I'm still cutting up strips. Um, but without telling you guys how many how many um, plastic bags you can actually fit into a bottle, um, it's a lot. I'll just say it's over ten. That's all I'm going to say. It's over ten. So if anybody is watching these videos, you have an advantage over the rest of the population that will not watch this video. Um, that if we ever do a contest as far as how many bottles fit into a, how many bags fit into a bottle, you know the answer is over 10. That may or may not help you. I don't know. Because the answer could be 32 or the answer could be 11. I mean, you don't now, know. she was saying before about Target likes to put the... Uh, the, the papers. Stickers. So you can see here, that's what she means. They put it on the red thing here. So, unfortunately, this is not going to be a usable handle. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean, we're really we're but, really not concerned. Like, we're not zero waste. Um, I, I don't think we could ever go zero waste unless we lived in a community that had uh, zero waste uh, options. Um, I think if we could go to a store... With, like, our glass bottles and fill up our cereal and fill up our sugar and fill up stuff like that. I think for some things we would, um, but there are absolutely no resources around here um, that have that ability. So, and dog food. Mm -hmm. Or cat food. Actually, cat food more so, because Jewel doesn't eat all that much. But, I mean, cat food right there, that's waste. Because um, we have to have cat food. Um... But, I mean, yeah. our local Petco does have, I guess you can call it a zero waste, um, cat litter. They have, like, a big tub of cat, cat litter. Where you can go in there and, like, scoop it and you, like, pay by weight or whatever. Um, it's very dusty, so we don't use it. We have six cats. Dust is important. So if we can get a low-dust cat litter, um, I believe it's actually marketed to be low-dust. But if you go there, that, that shit ain't low-dust. Um... But yeah, so you can use these um, to make tables. You can use them to make chairs. Good girl, um, She's playing with the, the toy. Uh -huh. um, the cat toy? <clears throat> yes. Um, but you can make them to really do any structure. Um, like I said, in other countries, <coughs> they use them to make like little huts. Um, because the plastic doesn't degrade... I really need a word to put there because I, I don't feel like biodegradable is the word I'm looking for. But no. since it doesn't like decompose or anything, um, 
for 400 years. For over 400 years, um, they could use them to actually make structures and huts. And I'm not sure what else they use. They use some sort of like mud, clay stuff. Um, so obviously it's just not a whole bunch of bottles stacked together. Um, how you can make them into a chair or a table or what have you is, let me stuff these in and then I'll, I'll kind of give you a rundown on how they make, we'll say a table. Um, really? <laughs> and after I tell you how to, no, stop, easy, easy. Because <laughs> I want to... So, let's say you take, we'll just say 10 of these. So you take them, you, you put them side by side, and there's some sort of like silicone or putty or some sort of like, I don't know, caulking kind of stuff, which that's another story. Um, yeah, we'll get to that, don't worry. Um, you take the bottles and you put them next to each other, and you either take like a rubber band or a string or some sort of device to sort of like, obviously like, connect them together. Um, and that way they're they're ultimately glued together. Um, and if you just take, like I said, 10 of these bottles and you put them side to side, all going the right way. Um, obviously you don't want to sit on the bottle part, but it'd also be weird to like have this on the ground. So you can take like 10 and have them this way and then take another 10 or nine. I'm not sure how it really works. Um, and put them this way. And then you put the caps in between each other. So that way they, they're off center. Um, and then I'm sure there's some way to fasten the top layer and bottom layer together. Um, but if you Google it, just Google eco brick or eco bricking, and you can sort of see like all the things that are made. Um, there's even ways to make, can I have a um, pusher down? Um, there's even ways to like make little recycling or like cigarette butt things, um, with bottles. Let's see, you take it. And don't worry about if you have, like, limited hand dexterity. Um, I'm disabled. And, oh, I might screw. Well, no. Um, it's actually good physical therapy to do. Um, I don't do physical therapy. I don't do occupational therapy. But um, if anyone out there is concerned about, like, you know, like, trying to keep busy and you know, stay active, so to say, during this whole pandemic whole crap. Um, this is a really good way. Like, I used to knit. I used to knit. I can't crochet for the life of me, but I used to knit. Um, but it's a good way. It doesn't really take, like, a lot of um, a lot of might. Maybe once you get towards the end, um, <coughs> if you have any sort of hand issues, you might need a little help. Depending on how well I packed it on the bottom, um, sometimes I'll need his help. Can I have those? Um, but right now we don't have any plans on making anything. I think it would be cool to either a donate these to like Girl Scouts that maybe want to do this as a project, um, or maybe make like a chair and put it in our local town hall building. And like have like a little like placard next to it to say like hey you know or what was your other idea? What the mask one? No, the uh, um bike. Oh, or like make a bench and put it at the bike path that we what that we clean up litter at. <laughs> so I mean, I I kind of see us making something. Um, I don't see us making a lot of things from this. Um, I really kind of just want to donate them once we make, like, a lot, because you can't do anything with five. Um, but it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, usually ShopRite and stores like that, um, have, like, a little, well, here, I'm going to, like, cut some more cash scissors. Um, like, we know our, our local ShopRites, I say ShopRites because we have more than one that are local. Um, they have, like, the, um... The little bins that you can bring your plastic bags to and like recycle them. Uh, where they go, I don't know. Um, but apparently, according to the two people that have dropped off bags to our porch, they were both very grateful that <laughs> grateful. They were very grateful that we are taking plastic bags. So I'm kind of under the assumption that maybe due to COVID, um, 
places aren't accepting plastic bags, which I don't get because they go into a big plastic bag anyway, and then I'm sure somebody takes them away from there. I don't know. Um, but we do take plastic bags. We have a crap load. We have this huge 15 roll Currently, we do paper not need towel. any more. Yeah. Right now, we do not need any. So we'll um, let you all know when we run low. Yeah. Um, but that's why we wanted to get out here and billboard. I'll get to that in a second. Um, this is why we want to get on here on our social media platforms and show people how easy it is. It's something you can do in your spare time. You're sitting there watching TV. Um, I will recommend that I think it's easier to cut a lot of bags and then stuff it. Um, the first two bottles that I did, I cut and stuff, cut and stuff, cut and stuff, cut and stuff. Um, it was time consuming. Granted, uh, I did it in my spare time, we'll say. Um, so I was looking for something to waste a lot of time. So that flipped the bill. But the other night that we did four, um, me and Chuck both just sat here and we cut, I don't know, probably about 40 bags. Easily. Um, and then we we stuffed them and we were able to... Well, it had to be more uh, than 40. Well, no, because that... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, so we messed up on our first eco bricks, so we... And she looks at me and goes, so... What are we going to do? And I'm like, well, I mean, we could try and continue to stuff it and see if we Because we were anywhere. like, what, 20 grams off? We were... It definitely wasn't wasn't stuffable. Like he tried to jam it, I tried to jam it. We were getting nowhere. Can I have the bottle back? Uh, is that okay? No. If it's thirty, nope. What do you want? The bottle? Yeah. Um. All right. So we have a question on our YouTube channel. Uh, how is your state right now? Is it shut down? Are you still able to go to work? Okay, so our state is is ass. Um, we are neither for or against our governor. Um, honestly, I think the whole pandemic is political. I really thought things were going to get better after the election, but uh, we were wrong on that one. Um, I think there's a lot they're not telling us. However, the same with a lot of, we'll just say rare diseases, because I have one. Um, there's cures for a lot of this stuff. Uh, but it comes down to money. So I think there has been a cure for Corona for a long time. Um, but once you come out with a cure and go on life as normal, uh, the money train stops. So uh, I think this could have been ended a while ago. I know it's real. I know people that have had it. Uh, we don't personally know anybody that has died from it. Um, but we know like the numbers are real. We're not denying that this isn't um, a real issue. Um, I think our governor is doing what he is able to do. Um, as like all politicians, it's really not up to them. It's up to the people that are behind them and they're just the voice. So it is what it is. So our state sucks right now. Um, but people don't listen. Uh, we know a lot of people that still go out there and more or less act like there's nothing going on. Um, but then want to sit there and complain that, you know, life is what it is. We have been staying home. We do curbside. We do drive through. Um, we, I mean, we'll go out maybe once a week. Um, am I still able to go to work? Well, I don't necessarily uh, go to work. Uh, I work. Um, I work for the comforts of my living room. Um, so I'm very thankful that my employer has been able to work that out for me. Um, because it wasn't an option back in March and April when I was out the first time. We heard that. Um, what a ship some. Hey, come on. Um, I should be standing by the bedroom door. So I'm very fortunate that I'm able to do that now this time around. Um, the numbers are a lot higher. I think back in March and April and May, like we started going to like lock, not lockdown, but like, you know, shit hit the fan in like that end of March. I think our numbers every day were like between like uh, 2,500 and 3,500. Uh, I think our numbers today was like 4,900. Uh, it's been about 4,000 a day for the past week, if not more than a week. Um, so we're worse than we were before. Um, but we're just trying to do what we can. We don't go out and pick up trash as much as we used to. 
Um, what? We don't go out and pick up trash as much as we used to. Oh. Um, we'll go out maybe once a week and we just do our immediate neighborhood. Um, which kind of sucks because we only wind up getting one bag of trash. Um, which works out this week. Yeah, because somebody forgot to put the trash out today. I um, didn't realize what day it was. I know. Our days are all mixed up. We don't know. I'm working 12 hours overnight. Uh, I'm off tonight. I work all this weekend. It's I. I'm lucky. I know my name. Can I have uh, the poker? Can I have the Gaga? Sure. This is the Gaga. Ah, poker face. Sure thing, Stephanie. What? That's your name, isn't it? Stephanie. Yeah. Stephanie. Oh, wait. Now I'm forgetting our names. And I'm so confused. As you said, you're lucky you still remember your own name. Oh. Jeez. Oh. Go to sleep. Okay. Yeah. I know. Our sleep is all over the place. It's actually quite horrible. Very thankful that um, we're able to do we, what we do. Um, we could not wait to fall asleep last night. Yeah. So excited. We went into bed, what, like around 12-ish? I think we were in there earlier than that. And I had to stay up to give the cats their meds. So, okay. I knew I was going to be up at least until 4. Okay. 4 o'clock comes around. We're ready to go to bed. The cats have their meds. All right. Yeah, I didn't fall asleep till 7.30. Yeah. That yeah. was fun. It was pretty uh, It was pretty rough. Um, we do have a goal, though. Um, we want to get... Well, I want to get 5,000 gallons of trash. By July 12th, 2021, which is our one-year anniversary. I shouldn't do this. I feel like Harry Potter. Um, Harry Potter? Yeah, Harry Potter. Wingardium Leviosa. Um, when we put more in here, you're going to have to maybe try and... Because these two ones... Oh, here, let me take a look. Well, no, it's it gets... you got to put more in there because it's... Okay. Or no, maybe not. She needs the muscles to come out. Well, no, I think before we go any further, I think we need here. Be there for a second. Obviously, nothing going to come out, but um, I don't know. You just got to tend to it. All right. Because a little, I don't know how well you guys can see, but there's, there's holes in the little feet, so... Uh, if you want to grab your scissors in the bag, and I'll cut while you're doing it. I mean, it's packed. It's packed good, but I can't get it in the hole. Uh -huh. Um. But yeah, so this is a really great way to um, be in the comfort of your own home. Um, we do take plastic from people. Um, oh yeah, so we have this this big bag of. It's a paper towel tube. Um. Pa paper not paper towel, towel tube. Tube. A paper towel packing of 15 rolls from like BJ's or Costco or Sam's Club. Um, we have that stuff full of plastic. Um, we also have a very large black bag that our neighbor dropped off on our porch, which may or may not look like a dead body. Um, so we quickly removed that off our porch and put it in our shed. But it is a huge black bag, maybe like a 30 gallon bag that's full of bags. So we are good on plastic, but if anybody local to us wants to kind of hold on to it, um, you know, we're we're more than willing to eventually take it from you. Um, we just only have so much space, especially with the holidays. It's a little rough. It's as good as I can do right now. Well, is it? It's. It didn't do anything. You know, I keep getting to here, and I can't go any uh, further. Okay. So okay. Um, so the bottles, so we only, well, we have five, so we have yep. five bottles, uh, which is, <coughs> we have a question on our YouTube that says, what do you do with the bottles when you're done stuffing them? Um, we have five, um, so we currently cannot make anything. Probably realistically, we need, I'll say 25 to maybe make like a stool or like a little table or something. I think something. we need more than that. No. I don't want to make it huge. I'm not making a dining room table. I'm making like a little like end table. Um, I say at least 25 to really make anything. 
Um, but yeah, it's, oh, oh, we also register them. So there's a website, which if anybody's interested, I can post it, um, on both of our social media things. Um, it's like ecobrickus.org or ecobrick.org. Um, we are, we haven't made any items. Um, we have a question of, do you sell the items after you make them? We haven't made any. We only have five bottles. Um, we are very, very new with this. We're not looking to sell any of the stuff that we make. Um, it's more of we're looking to encourage people to also do this. Um, there is a place up in Massachusetts, I believe, that they will buy the eco bricks from us. Um, I think it's like five dollars for an eco brick. Um, first off, it's gonna have to be after Corona is gone. Um, and second off, uh, I don't know about driving to Massachusetts just to chop off eco bricks because we're probably gonna pay a lot more in gas than we are as far as how many eco bricks we drop off, even if we drop off like. Like a hundred that you know have like hundreds at a time. Yeah. Or like have like a community behind it and sort of use it as a way to like recycle in a way. Um but yeah, we don't plan on like when we do make things, um selling them. We want to encourage people to make them in their communities or make them at their home. Um I mean, I would even mail these overseas if somebody could use them and just, just mail them. I may be wrong on this because I haven't been on the website. She does all that part of it. But doesn't it tell you how much uh, plastic is saved from the yeah. eco Yeah, so the EcoBrick website, um, when you go on there to register, like let's say you make an EcoBrick, and it has to be a certain weight. So we're using... Uh, it's, it's sparkling ice bottles. It's like flavored water, but it has like a little bit of carbonation in it. Um, those have to be at least 105 grams. Actually, weight. it's a little bit more than that. Yeah, because the 16.9 bottles. And these are 17.2. Yeah. No, they're 17, but it's not 502 oh. fluid ounces. So, so what we do is we usually go anywhere from about 180 to 183 or so, 183. just to make sure that it is like, you know, a legal eco brick. Um, because if you have too much, um, well, really, if you have any space or any air inside of it, um, it doesn't uh, withstand as much and it doesn't like sort of like upkeep or I don't know. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um and you also don't want any moisture, you don't want any wetness, you don't want any food products. They'll actually uh, get gas inside of it. Yeah. Um, you want to, you do want to leave like a little bit of, of like, not air, but you want to leave like a little breathing room um, right at the top, just so that way if anything does expand, it, it gives a little bit of space. You don't want to overstuff it. Like if the requirement is that it has to be 175 grams, you don't want to make it like 220 um, because you don't want an eco brick to bulge either, um, you know stuff like that. But this is relatively easy to do. Um, it is a nice little project. Um, like I said, if anybody out there has kids, obviously mom and dad would have to, you know, do the whole scissors thing and cut it. Um, but like as far as the kids stuffing the bottles, the kids could start stuffing it, and then like you know mom and dad or whoever could. Can you grab me a bottle? Um, could like finish it off and obviously push the material down and let them continue on. Um, so, I mean, I think for like Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, um, community service organizations, um, I think if like a, a organization got involved with stuff like this, um, obviously you'd make a lot more eco bricks at once. Um, but you can go on the website, you can register it. And it will tell you, first off, how um, how much you have, like, saved from the environment. Um, I think we're up to, like, 95 kilograms or something. I don't know. It said it. I don't know. Um, but you obviously register it with your name and the whole nine yards. And they give you a code to write on the bottle. So that way it's, like, it's legitly logged with EcoBrick. Um, that somewhere in New Jersey, the Ford Purification Project saved, you know, 791 grams of plastic from the world. 
Um, so, I mean, it's pretty cool. Like I said, it's, it's something to do. Um, you know, but we wanted to get out here and, like, show you guys. So I guess we don't want to keep this top part, huh? No. So the top part is, uh, well, I mean, it's probably plastic. A zipper thing is, a zipper thing is probably plastic, but just, yeah, just cut this. Um, but yeah, I mean, we kind of look forward to, like, what we could make out of it or, like, what you guys think we should make out of it. Um, we're not very handy, per se, so we're not going to get, like, overly creative. Um, but we've also been stuck home for a while. We haven't had much people contact. So we make it creative just because we have nothing else to do. We'll see. Um, so if anybody out there has ideas on what we can make, let us know. Um, or if you guys start eco-bricking yourself, let us know. I think it'd be very, very cool. Um, like I said, you can go on the website. It might be hard to put yourself in the bottle, though. What? Oh, if they're eco-bricking themselves. Mm, yeah, you might not want to eco-brick, because I don't know how many people are made out of plastic. Okay. Well, if you're in the Doctor Who episode, I mean... Mm, true. Uh, you yeah, Doctor Who episode. Yeah. Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. Hey, Doctor Who's awesome. But... This is what we've kind of been up to. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any questions. <clears throat> comments, or, concerns. Yeah. <coughs> you know. I don't know. We're trying to think of like, what we can make out of them. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> yes, yes, I do. I mean, it's it's what I'm into, though. Knock, knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? Exactly. I think you meant yes. Okay. Just kidding, I love you. Love you, too. Now, you're probably thinking... Wow, this bottle you're working on is, is almost full. <laughs> hmm. It's funny, I'm not knocking you at all. Yeah, he loves Doctor Who. He loves he loves oh oh speaking of which Hey Billboard How does the rock Oh jeez go pee? Kind of um caca. All I have is goo goo. Really? Oh, yeah. Yes. Not really sure how we. Well, I don't know. Are you talking about being passionate about Doctor Who or passionate about uh, um, saving the world? Um, Doctor Who saves the world. One Taurus at a time. Um. So, how does the rock go pee? You know who The Rock is, right? Yeah. Okay. So, The Rock goes pee because he Dwayne's his Johnson. Hello, Hello everyone. Our Wi-Fi is acting up so you may lose us. Ah! Oh, where are you guys at now? And I totally like the whole where are we staying? I totally get it. Like, yeah, get it? That's get cool. it? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't think of that at first. That is hilarious. You gotta remember it though. You gotta remember it. The hard part is always remembering the jokes. So you're probably gonna be like, you know, oh I remember this joke about the rock. Shit. Yeah. We do that quite often. Oh, very cool. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. We'll be in your neck of the woods in like August. August? July? Well, depending. We hope. Grand Rapids, Ann Arbor. Okay. But yeah, so we've, we've put quite a few bags. Jewel, what are you doing? In here. 
like um, and this is where we're at. We're not even halfway. This kind of really does look like halfway, but this yellow part that we just did still has a lot of mush to it. How's the bottom looking? Um, questionable. So that means next time we're not going to use target bags for the bottom. Let me see. The best. No, nah, it's. I think it's too late. Well, I'm going to try. I think the best, honestly, if you use a bottle that has a, um. I don't know. I want to say like a pepper bottom. It has a little, little bumpy bumps on the bottom. The best bags to use are the good old fashioned plastic bob, the uh, plastic bags, like the ones that rip, the ones that you see in trees driving down the road. Those bottles are the best because they have so much give to them. The reusable plastic bags um, don't really have much give. Uh, yeah. Well, we actually went to. Grand Rapids in 2018 for the same reason that we're going back next year. Um, and Ann Arbor, I'm not going to lie, wasn't too thrilled because we went to the Cat Cafe. She didn't have anything against Ann Arbor. Yeah, nothing about Ann Arbor. Although, was that... Wait, maybe you know. Uh, there's a lake. Probably about an hour from Ann Arbor. I feel like it starts with a W. Like Whit Lake Whitman or Lake Lake something. There's a Best Western, and there's like a, oh my god, there's a restaurant. I want to say it's like Eat at Joe's or something. Um, supposedly, yeah. I told the story before, but we we booked at Best Western at this place. We're like, all right, like, cool, like, you know, not that we'll stay anywhere, but Jewel, like, Best Western us was okay, so we stayed okay. there. Um... Not really, but I think it's the best we're going to get. Okay. And you smush the bottom. Well, I don't know how that happened, but... Um, so this bottle might end up being a fail, which means I might have to cut it open, but whatever. Um, so we booked at Best Western, and we drove there, whatever, and we arrived, and there was a restaurant in the same parking lot. So we're like, oh, we're, like that's really cool. So we go to eat the restaurant, and we're like, oh, yeah, we're from Jersey, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, oh, like where are you staying? And we just went like this, meaning like, the hotel out back, and the girl looked at us like we were going to get murdered that night or something. That's what you want. So, so you know what we learned? Don't book a hotel. Until you drive, go to eat. Drive to the area that you want to stay in and eat at a restaurant and say the name of the hotel that you're thinking about staying at to the waitress and just watch her face. Don't, don't listen to what she says. Just watch her face because... Waitresses always will tell you, oh, that's really great. I'm so happy for you. But their face is going to be like... Because you never know what happens at these uh, places. Yeah. Sometimes they might have a meth built uh, meth lab. Oh, my Why God. Not? Wait. So we stayed at a hotel back in my hometown. We won't say the name just because. But, yeah, uh, the, the, the place isn't relevant. Um, but we normally stay at um, one hotel. And um, it was right after we got Jewel, and this hotel in question didn't take dogs. But mm, we've been bringing her, and nobody's been saying stuff. That's a whole other story. Whatever. Um, but we didn't want to take the chance because we're like, all right, well, what if we booked this hotel, and now we're stuck, whatever. So I'm like, well, we'll just stay in the same town. Like, I know the town very, very well. I lived there for, like, 19 years. I know what part of the town to go to and what part not to. So I'm like, we're good. So we stay at this hotel. And it was a little weird, you know, very small front desk. Just right off the bat? Well, go ahead. I'll, when you get so, to the room, I'll tell So we go inside, and we check in. <coughs> Excuse me. And the lady walks us up to our room. Leaves the, uh, the Leaves entire the front desk front by herself. Wide open. And she goes upstairs to walk us to our room. Now this is where I'm going to jump in. So she takes us to our room, and she's showing us around in it. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is cool. This is... Yeah, I'm like, um, here, I'll, I'll give you from this. I'm like, is is that blood on the on the pillow? Oh, um, no, I think that's just a stain. Blah 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 blah. No, it was blood. It yeah. was straight up blood. Like I know what blood looks like, and yeah, yeah. And then um, on the day that we checked in, it was it was raining. It was cold. I forget what month it was. It was a little on the chilly side, and it was raining. No, 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 no. It was warm because the air conditioning came on, and every time the air conditioning came on, it smelled like wet feet. 
Y'all ever smell wet feet? I know y'all smell wet feet, so don't try and say no. It smelled like wet feet. That was nasty, right? It's like, all right, fine. So, so the next day, <coughs> excuse me. Oh God, I grew up down the street from Jack Kevorkian, the Red Roof Inn. They used it was down the street. So yeah. Oh geez. Yeah. Well, I had a neighbor growing up on the night of his daughter's uh, prom. He went to a local Red Roof Inn and shot himself in the the housekeeping found the next day. Um. So yeah, Red Roof Inn. I don't know. There's just something about Red Roof Inn. I I can't do Red Roof Inn. Um. Uh. We're. Oh yeah. So it, it it smelled like wet feet. It's like all right. Look, the room was like I don't know what it was. Like fifty nine dollars. Whatever. Just don't put your suitcase. Like I know the the guidelines. Don't put your suitcase on the bed. Leave it on a table so that way a bed bug. You know whatever. All right. Fine. It is what it is. So we survived and we made it out and we went home and life was great. And then a week later, you know, breaking news from my hometown. Hotel blows up from homemade meth lab. One week after we stayed there. And that's what you want to hear. Like, well, that's why we got that creepy vibe. Because they were all making, making meth labs in that freaking hotel. That's probably why I had a front desk lady walked us up to our room. So we didn't wonder where we shouldn't have gone. I don't know. There's just weird shit. So yeah. Um, so next time you have to stay somewhere. Oh, that's a good bottom bag. Yes. Um case of a breakdown. They're always catchy. Yeah. I, I don't know oh, what yeah. it is about Red Roof Inn. I mean, we've done Best Western. We've done... Now, we've gone the opposite extreme. The hotel that we stayed at at Grand Rapids, granted, Grand Rapids is apparently uh, um, expensive in general. Um, Grand yeah. Rapids, that hotel a night was like four sixty nine or something. So we stayed the, the $39 a night route. And we stayed the, the $469 a night route. Um, but crazy, crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Jack was super nice. I used to talk to him on my way to school every day. That is creepy. What, Kevorkian? Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's creepy. Um, but yeah, so it's... I mean, we don't judge a place. My thing is, like, we go in the room and we lock the door. I think crazy things can happen pretty much anywhere. Can I have them back off? Um, but yeah, so we stayed at Ann Arbor, then we went to the Cat Cafe. We stayed at, like, it was, I don't know, like, like, Whitman or Witta, Witta something, I don't know. We got gas at a gas station, it was, like, $97 a gallon, and they put, like, a $400 hold on our credit card. I'm like, well, damn. Wawa in Jersey only put a dollar hold, yup. Yeah, but to fill up our tank of gas was, like, $96. I'm like, well, damn. Um, <laughs> Motel 6, no matter what state it's in, always seem to show up on the TV show Cops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's actually a Motel 6 in the town that I'm from. Um, that was one of our no-goes. That wasn't going to... That wasn't even an, an option. Um, I don't know. It's weird. It's just weird. Um... But yeah, so we stayed at Ann Arbor and we went to the Cat Cafe, which was, like, cool. Like, we bought stuff to donate. We bought some food and stuff. Because we thought, oh, this would be really awesome. So we go in there. And they're like, oh, yeah, you can't pick up the cats. You can't touch the cats unless they come to you. You can't put them on your lap. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, every it was also literally a cafe. So you had these little, like, coffee tables that you could yeah. sit at. And they said, yeah, if the cat comes up there... Uh, you can't push them away. Blah blah I'll blah take, blah. Take, I need some plastics. I gotta push. Not no no no. That that's gonna have to be a little bit out of time because that's this. not really uh that heavy plastic isn't really <clears throat> pushing down all that okay. nicely. So so that's all great, but the problem is with her chair. Every time she would move just a little bit, it makes a click click. I'll see if I'll see if y'all can hear it. But my chair goes. So every time she'd make that noise, the cats would, yeah, and they take off. Like our guys, we have ours six, are used to it. We have six cats and a dog. I can drive literally right past all of my cats. 
like almost clipping their feet or their tail. And they just sit there like, whatever. Did you to hit me? But these cats, I was across the room and I would make my chair go forward. It was like a... So, unfortunately, none of the cats would come over to her. I didn't touch one damn cat. No, I, I wasn't allowed to pick them up to bring them to her. So, yeah. it's like, okay, well, that's great. So, after that, then we drove to Grand Rapids and we stayed there for a week. Um, which which is, was beautiful. Yes. Um, but funny thing about Grand Rapids is, um, so you know how, like, every city, I guess, not that I really call Grand Rapids a city. I need some plastic. Not that I really call Grand Rapids a city. Um, but it was really nice, really beautiful place to be. And we went for a walk because I wanted to find a firehouse to get a shirt because that's just what I do. Can I do a uh, yellow? Yeah. Shop right? Yeah. Um, and, like, we literally walked across the street and, like, the neighborhood changed. Let's just say I didn't go to the firehouse. Because I was like, yep. Mm -mm. We went to the police station. Yeah, I went to the police and station. And got a shirt. Yeah. So... I'm a state fan, so I tend to go to Lansing more than Ann Arbor. Yeah, I haven't been to Lansing. I mean, Ann Arbor was nice. Even the lake, whatever it was. Wit I really want to say Yeah, Whitman. I don't remember it. Um, well, it's nice. I will say, though, if we do go again this year, I'm making her get a picture of it. Uh, uh, when you go Ohio? through... Ohio? Yeah, when you go through Ohio, you go on the, uh, the highway. There's actually a, uh, a jail right up there and there's this awesome sign it's not awesome because you know it, it's there for a reason obviously but uh it's so like it an says, actual it's like an actual highway sign like you know it, it instead says of like something along the lines exit of 46 three miles ahead no this shit says uh something along the lines of jail ahead do not pick up hitchhikers oh boy that means they have escapees Well, you know, it could be like Arkham and Batman. They always escape it from Arkham. Mm. I don't know why they still put anyone in there. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's... See, it's not just Doctor Who that I reference. I reference all kinds of geeky stuff. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And the reason I'm thinking of Arkham is because I watched that Lego uh, Gotham City breakout last night, which oh. that was pretty awesome. At 3 o'clock in the morning? No, no, that one was more like 2 Ish. Yeah, this whole like overnight stuff is <clears throat> for the birds. But well, thankful, no, thankful. The birds are usually asleep. No, sometimes overnight. they wake up. No, normal birds, not our birds. Oh yeah, our birds have usually been pretty good. Like when it's nighttime, they're like, "Yeah, we're going to bed." But now that we're on the nighttime schedule, they're all. They used to not chirp, but the lights are off, and now they're just like, "Oh, we don't care, bitches. We just we just squawk it for the heck of it." So. More plastic? Well, how about you cut some for a little bit? Because I, every time I get a little bit in here, it's just going straight into right. the bottle. Okay. Well, that's, I want to finish one on, I want to finish one so we can, like, measure. All right. Let me just, um, here, just put this whole thing in there. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that'll work really well. Well, you never know until you try. Yeah, this is true. I'm also trying not to get rid of our good stuffing. Ones. Yeah, for the bottoms. But that's the thing. I'm running out of everything else. Well, we can do so. I mean, we're going to have more. Ah, what are you go doing? To, go to Cops and Donuts. Cops and Donuts. That sounds pretty cool. That's okay. Every time we go to Philly, we try and go to, what is it? Uh, federal um, Donuts. Federal Donuts. Yeah. Then bitches close every time we go there. Because supposedly they stay open until like, they sell out. And they yeah. sell out pretty quick. Can't go there at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. <coughs> Every time we go there, oh, that's cool. the door is open. And I go to open. They're like, oh, sorry, we're closing. Oh, That's cool. I would totally go there. What's that? It's a place called Cops and Donuts, and it's ran by cops. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, funny story. A couple years ago. I went and I got a, uh, a spray tan. Yeah. Ah, I'll have to check it out. I went and I got a spray tan. And I was pretty new to this area. You know, okay, fine. So, it was weird. I won't talk about what color I ended up being spray tan, but all, <laughs> all I will say is that my grandmother... 
My grandmother, yeah, just just no. My eight year old grandmother had words for me. Um, I yeah, just anyway. Um, so I go and I get the spray tan, right? And I got like this like undercover cop vibe, like whoa. And I'm like, all right, well this is okay. Like I kind of felt safe getting that undercover cop vibe. Kind of felt safe. I kind of felt safe. Um, like you know, it was okay. Well, it turns out, I think, not that I know who owned it, owned it, but I know who had their hand in it, and yeah, it's a local cop. I found that out now, what, 10 years later? Yeah. So now I kind of understand why I got that undercover cop vibe, because, well, it was probably run by cops, which is cool. That's, like I said, I felt safe, um, but definitely was like, yeah, there's there's something going on here. Um, so, pretty cool. But yeah, I'll have to check out that video. Um, so let's see. For anybody just tuning in, we have a couple new viewers over on our Facebook channel. Um, we are making eco bricks. There was quite a few plastic bags in this bottle. Um, you can use the the old fashioned plastic bags, or you can use the reusable, heavier duty um, plastic bags. You can use plastic packaging. Well, that's the thing. They say these are reusable. They're not really reusable. They, You can really use them twice, maybe yeah. three times at the most. Yeah. But when I hear reusable, I think, like, okay, reusable. Like a cloth. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you can use, like, the, the bubble wrap that, um, that they have in, like, all your packages that you use to deliver to the house. Um... And, um, you re I got some of it. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ready for bed? Well, we I say that now. Yeah. Well, the thing is, last night I got in bed, I think it was like around like 10, 30, 11 or so. And I got into bed, and I fell asleep, and I woke up at 12.30. And that was it. I was up till like, 7, 7.30, and then I woke up at 8.30, and I'm like, time to get up. And I'm like, wait, 8.30 in the morning. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Here's some BS. BS, I tell you. BS. Here's some more plastic. I can't do that far. Maybe we'll do a weigh and see uh, see how much we're at. This bottle has to be, we'll say it, we'll say 180 because the 16.9 ounce bottles have to be 175, and this is 17 ounce bottle. So we'll do a uh, video it's called Poncho Pond. All right, I'll have to check that out. That sounds pretty cool. Although I still have to call you billboards, I can't call you donut cops because that'd be weird. So I'll still call you billboard. Billboard donut. Wait, they're billboard. Yeah. Oh, oh no, you're not billboard. I'm sorry. I was yeah. Gonna say. Sorry. Chasing America's billboard. I know I'm. All bad, right, so but... I can call. Okay, well, where are we staying? I'll now call you. Donut cop. That's still not good. The building was used by the. Oh wow! I'll have to check. I'll have to check it out. I'm getting y'all mixed up. That I don't know if it's reusable. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But we'll do that. I mean, let me well, let me fill it. That I don't know. Yeah, I'm not thinking. We're not going to take the chance with the that. The Amazon packaging, I don't think. The bubble wrap by itself. It feels. This... Maybe I should like contact Amazon and be like, "Hey, what is your packaging made out of?" You're one of those environmentalists. No, I'm. I mean, I, I'm not really. 
I mean, I have like eco friendly soap and shampoo, and we try not to use paper towels or tissues. And we eco brick and we pick up litter. We picked up almost 2,000 gallons of litter in seven months. You're an eco friendly person. Um, I'm not like an environmental, like, oh my god, you're not Captain Planet. No, I mean, I still drink Gatorade bottles. Sorry. But you sometimes reuse them. Well, yeah, I do try to reuse them. Alright, do we want to see how much? Well, here, let me stuff this in here. Can you hand that to me? No. All of it. All of it. Not the, yeah, not the heavy plastic, because that's not really working out that well. I don't know why, but... The heavy plastic, I can only maybe, maybe I'll try and like stick like a piece or two in each bottle. But as far as like putting a lot in there, okay, it's not really uh, going that great. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stuff what I have in my hands and then we're going to do a little measuring and see how close we are to our 180. Um, I'd say we're maybe like 110, maybe. Um, for those of you just tuning in to our Facebook channel over here, uh, we are making eco bricks, which is basically just taking clean plastic packaging. And when I say clean, I mean no food residue, no water, nothing like that. Um, and we are stuffing it into plastic, clean plastic bottles. And they have to be a certain weight. Uh, they can't be too full or they can't be too empty. Um, just got to be like Goldilocks. Just right. Just right. Um, the handles sometimes are a little tough. So that's why sometimes we'll use the handles and sometimes we don't. Um, I mean, sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes. Hi, Cooper! I'm getting a drink tea. And then maybe she should probably owe you tea. She hasn't gone OUT since before. We did our errands. And she had a lot of water, too. Um, I don't know. Maybe this bottle's like... Maybe 120, 130. I'll say 125. That'll be my guess. My guess is 125. 125. All right. Measuring thing? Right. Got one more cut. So I still can fit. Um, probably two or three bags at least in here. Definitely two, maybe three. But getting kind of like packed at the bottom. But it's still kind of. This is our scale. Kind of squishy at the top. Y'all, y'all, we're gonna be on the honor system as far as what it says. Okay, so we're turning it on. Make sure nothing's touching it. It's zero. I'm right, I gonna say, say, say one twenty-five. One thirteen. One thirteen. No. Oh! 139. 139, y'all. All right. So we're Still got a ways to go, but... Well, like I said, I mean, we got, like, I'll say two bags. You want to hand me that oh. plastic? Well, I was going to hand you a bag. You can start cutting some while I take her O-U-T. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. Let me um, stuff this in. I don't think we're going to use that. Dirt? Yeah, miracle grow. It has to be clean plastic. Yeah, no. I mean, maybe she thought I meant clean by, like, not food. But it can't have any sort of dirt or any sort of residue in it. Okay. okay. Scissors? Whoop. I'll give you this. Whoop. Can work on that. Okay. Here, you dig this. 
Take that. I'm gonna wash up. I'm gonna work on this little bag of stuff. Well, these are like. Oh, this is the packaging stuff from um, like Amazon packages. Oh, okay. I think it's actually all connected, which kind of worked out for cutting. But guess what? I'm gonna. Fold it and fold it and fold it and fold it and fold it. it. Doesn't have to be perfect. And yes, we do wash our hands when we are done doing our plastic. Um, we're kind of under the assumption that these plastic items have probably sat somewhere for a little while, um, but somebody still dropped them off. So um, we do let them sit for a few days. Uh, but we do wash our hands when we're done. Um, never be too safe. Just because you never, you never know. You also never know what people have like touched with. Not necessarily like where we got it from, <coughs> but like yeah. you know, Amazon people that have packaged it. Like you don't know if they're clean people. So if you really thought about the amount of people that touch your packages by the time you get to it. Yeah. And then, like, you go out into the world and, like, you see dirty people and you're like, did you touch my stuff? But that just makes you feel all nasty. So, you know, I always want to make sure you clean. I'm actually probably going to take a shower after this, too. Um, just because. All right, we'll be back. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much. Uh, how we spend our, our time, how we try and stay awake on nights that we don't have work. It's a great project to actually do while you're sitting at your desk at work for when there's nothing going on at all. Just saying. Um, so we'll just say like downtime, this is a really uh, good project to do. Um, but yeah. We thank everyone for tuning in to us and checking us out. For those of you on YouTube, we have a Facebook page. And for those of you on Facebook, we have a YouTube page. Uh, it's under the same name, so we're very easy to find. Um, there is some stuff we post on YouTube that we don't post on Facebook and vice versa, so... If you don't want to miss anything, um, follow us on both. Um, but we just want to share like what we do and how easy it is to be like environmentally friendly or environmentally conscious or you know whatever you really want to call it. Um, but we are not perfect. We are far from perfect. Um, we are not experts on eco bricking. Um, our first ego brick, we, we messed up horribly. Um, we were, I forget what the exact number was, but we were like 30 or 40 grams away from what it needs to be. And, um, of course we posted the video of the first ego brick that we did and somebody was like, yeah, um, your pieces need to be smaller. So we didn't know that the pieces had to be a certain size to fit all nice and pretty. But they do. Um, in the middle of your eco brick, you can get away with a couple bigger pieces. So if you're like, eh, I don't know if they should go in there or not, uh, just stick them in the middle. But make sure you compact it really well first. Um, but yeah, you want to always go on the side of caution and... Uh, make the pieces smaller than bigger. My god, okay. I can't do a cut all that. So I'm gonna write that there. Um, but yeah, this is the, the little air pouches that they have in like the Amazon packages. That's what this is. Um, so these are really great things that you can use for eco bricking. Um, 
really great plastic um, for the bottom of your eco brick. Like I said, if you have um, the bottles that have the uh, little little nubby nubs on the bottom, it's not like a it's not a flat surface. Which I'm not really sure if there are any plastic bottles that have flat surfaces. Um, I'm thinking even Gatorade bottles have like little indents in them. So if you luck out and you eco brick with a bottle that has a flat bottom, consider yourself lucky. Um, cause off the top of my head, I can't think of any, um, even like cranberry juice, I think has a bottom, maybe Hawaiian punch, like the big, like gallons maybe have like flat bottom, the snapple. Well, Maybe the little plastic bottle snapples. They have kind of flat bottoms, I guess. I guess it's as close as you get to a flat bottom. Um, but the the really plasticky plastic is uh is best. Hey Andrew. We are eco bricking. So if y'all ever want to save your plastic and save your plastic bottles, you can make eco bricks. And then you could like make stuff out of them. Um, but eco breaking is a really great project. Um, he took uh, Jewel to go OUP. And yes, we say that taking the dog out is OUP because, well, it's like OUT, but it's. It is what it is. It's OUP. Um, but we are doing eco bricks, trying to finish this one. Um, just so we can show you all what a finished eco brick looks like. But, ah, that fell out. You're going to have to stuff this for me. Okay. Ready? All right. Oh, Andrew says hello. Hello. Oh, he says, is it cold out there? Yes. It is quite chilly. Oh, uh, we're, we are exhausted. You can only see half my face, but we are exhausted. We want to go to bed, but we are trying to find ways to stay awake, so... Um, eco bricking it is. Might even have to make an apple pie tonight just for something to do. Cause, <gasps> or watch a movie, play a game. Yeah, you gotta do something. I don't know. Someone told me Animal Crossing is pretty good. Haha, <laughs> wonder who that was. Please don't ding that chair. That's almost as bad as dinging the floor. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, no. No snow. We probably won't get snow for at least another two weeks. Yes. It was snowing yesterday. Yeah, an Animal Crossing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Um. Yeah, I'll probably be on these weird hours. Oh, God. So, Andrew, are you guys still in Alabama? <clears throat> How you doing? The thing is, it's going down, but then other pieces are coming up. Yeah. Yeah, and we're staying. How long are you staying for? We're staying forever? Can't be staying forever. They don't have their switch with them. Ha <laughs> ha Come here, a little bit. Or if you want to. Yeah, I'll do it. And then I'll put it back. Okay. And what brought you to Alabama? All right. When Guardian the Fiosa. Mm. It didn't work. Mm. 
Team Guardian Leviosa. Quack. Huh? Quack. Quack, yeah. My dog. Yeah, it's supposed to make you fly. Oh. Or at least hover a little bit. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> There's nothing that Thanks. I didn't read. Okay, okay, okay. I got this! You want to give me some of that plastic down there? I still got, I know I got room. I think if I stuff some more, um, what about we'll weigh it? Mm. Mm, not clear plastic. Uh, I know, I know. Yeah, try oh, not what? to use like Ziploc bags. That's turning out to not be the greatest idea. Well, it was also a huge Ziploc bag. Still, it's a Ziploc bag. Yeah, that was like this big. I know, but it's still the same kind of plastic. Uh, I was just texting a friend about first edition Harry Potter book. Oh, that's awesome. That's so exciting. You know, you should read the Harry Potter books. No, I have better things to do, like Eco Brick. Yes, but reading helps the mind. It's really done a number on mine. Yeah, you need to see the doctor. <laughs> no, I don't. Who? Oh, you don't? Okay. Oh, well, that doctor, yeah. No, you said you don't. No, 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 no. See, you got to clarify. No. Nope. Clarify. Because if I see a doctor now, that's COVID. If I see a doctor who's going to take me to the future or the past, well, that's awesome. You want to wait again? How about I? Well, no, because it's... Oh, right. All right, we'll wait again. What are we at, 139? Yub, yub. Ito, a jub, jub. I think we're at... Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, my Ewok is dancing. Dun, right. dun, 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 dun. I think we're at 150. Nope. Next guess. 162. Close. 163. Nice. All right. So we're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. All right. Let's go. More plastic. No, um, it's good because I'm shoving it in the side. Well, so. I don't really have much more plastic here. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You have quite a bit. Yeah. Non-cut up plastic. Yeah. Can you use this stuff? Well, no. Oh, yeah, that's that's gotta... mostly that other stuff. It's fine. So we're going to have more of that stuff. It's okay. No, this stuff. Oh, the hard the green... stuff that you don't like. What about the green? Yes, I'm going to give you the green, but I'm giving you this other stuff. So difficult. You are. Till the middle of December. Stepdad wants... Heroes, fans, death, heart surgery, nope. Oh, and COVID. Okay, well, to read the rest of it, I have to press C more, so... So, middle of December. So, that's not too much longer. Hold on. Well, I can be cutting while you do that. We're out of usable plastic. Okay. I mean, really, just one... Um, I think one bag would be good. Well, not this bag. I'll use this bag, but there's a big spot of paper on it. Oh. Yeah, the paper kind of ruins it. Yeah. But I'll use the rest of it. I'm sorry to hear about the stepdad. Complications of heart surgery and COVID. Oh, jeez. See, people have been playing around with that whole COVID thing. We know people that are going out and kind of acting like nothing going on. I'm like, yeah, mm, not the dice we really want to roll. Yeah. Because it don't judge who you are. It don't judge what you have, what you don't have. Like how old you are. How old you are. How young you are. Not playing. Like, sorry, that's not really. No, because I gotta hit C more, and I can't hit C more. C more bugs. All I all I got was heart surgery and COVID. Exclamation! 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 Friends, C S, and then it says C more, and well, she can't reach it. Yeah. Did you read the whole thing? No, I did not read the whole thing. That's what I said. Jeez. No, I can't get her to read any Harry Potter. No, I don't. I don't. I don't like to read. I go in waves. I'll read, then I'll knit. And then you'll then eco brick. I'm not eco brick. Oh, uh, that almost rhymed. 
Mm, I'll read, then I hit, then I read, then I eek over. I said almost. Right. Almost. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I still love when you said something didn't rhyme and I asked your boy, Butch Walker, and he agreed with me. And then you were like, well, I just want to hit song lyrics. Blah, 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 blah. I forget what it was at this point now, but. Oh. Okay. Love you. Love you too. I see how it is. Okay. Yeah, your boy sided with me. I know, right? That's because Butch is the best. Or, you know, he's kind of just like. A what? A <laughs> uh, what? Uh-uh. 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 Not up, baby. Yeah, ow. So, yeah, when you try to use your finger to jab plastic in and, like, there's really nowhere for it to go, you usually end up jamming your fingers, like, jamming uh -huh. your fingers. I mean, that sucks. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah. You gotta be so, more careful. Yeah, so don't try and, like... They'd be jamming. Jamming, 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 jamming. You'd be jamming. But when you use a bottle that has, like, a plastic neck like this, it's easy. Hold on. It's easier if you, like, push the plastic... Like, Please be careful. Yeah. Like, into the sides. So that way, you probably can't really tell. But it, it fills the mm. little thing. So your center Excuse is still me. open. I'm tired. I know. Time for cake? Yeah, the other night we had to stay awake. So at, like, midnight, I'm like, let's make cake. And then at, like, 3 a.m., I'm like, let's eat cake. Let's icing cake. And, and, then I, and then I read the side of the box, and it was like, you can add a half a cup of Smucker's strawberry jam. And we're like, hot dog, we have that. So we made two eight-inch round cakes and put a strawberry Smucker's jam layer in the middle. And it then we was put delicious. chocolate icing on the top with sprinkles. And normally we can't icing a cake for the life of us. It never works out. There's crumbs in it. It just, it lifts up the cake itself. It's just an absolute mess. So if we ever make a cake for someone's birthday, it's usually cupcakes. Can't mess those up. Um, I mean, you can. Yeah. But uh, we found a way to... Ha ha. Ha ha. What? Huh. Donut Cop says... Watching you work those scissors, I think you would be safe in any motel. <laughs> yeah, can't bring scissors to a gunfight. Nope. You kidding me? You should see what she can do with a cane. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I gotta say, for me being disabled, like, I'm definitely not, like, you know... Oh, please help me. Yeah, like, I don't want to say, like, I'm definitely not slow, because I don't mean it like that. I mean, like... I don't know. I think y'all know what I'm trying to say, but like, um, your speed isn't affected. Uh, and my reaction time and my thought process is um, quick, quick. very much an able-bodied thought process. Uh, just the body doesn't go along with it. Um, I don't know. Yeah. You've wailed me with that cane a time or two. <laughs> She beats me, guys. Oh, yeah, I beat him. No signs of injury. Never happens. You should see these emotional scars. <laughs> no, those are old. Those are old. Uh, well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> A little bit more, and then I think we should uh, weigh it. Yeah, I think this is it, Chuck. Good. Be good. So I think you guys uh, may officially witness... Us making our sixth sixth eco brick. So today is December third. It is ten thirty seven p.m. It is a Thursday. You might even be able to go on my phone and register it all on here. They can see you do the whole process. Yeah, I can do that too. Yeah, it's just ain't really fitting all that. Yeah, don't, um, 
Don't use scissors to stuff it. Um, I'm just using it because it's right in my hand. So some places. What? What does it say? Watch some it places be. use caring. For, is it caring or canning? Caring. Caning for punishment. Caning. Oh, hey. Yeah, but see, I don't need to be punished. I'm a good boy. Don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. Have I ever done anything All right. bad? No, no, it's good. No, 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 no. It's good. I think it's. Let's let the uh, scale. I think be it's one eight. What's she doing? Hey, licking she's the licking wall? the couch. Our Weirdo. dog likes to just lick things. One eighty-seven. Nice. Uh, mm. All right, so. So we'll put the lid on because the lid might add like a half a gram or something. Yeah. We've measured it before, and then we're like, all right, cool. We put it in the website, and then we Yeah, 188. On. Okay. And we're going to do it one more time. 188. Okay. All right, so grab your phone. Now register it. I'll have to find the website. Uh, register. Well, now I can tell you all guys what the website is. Register your eco... Not your eco bee. We nah. have one of those. That's what they all say. <laughs> but no, I'm good. I promise. Don't, no, no. Why? Why? Okay. You know what? All right. So Christmas present. That's how we get each other back. We say we're taking away a Christmas present. Never do, though. Okay. All right. So it looks like the website that we use is. Did we all read what Nicole said? Did you all read what Nicole said? What Not... did Nicole say? Hold on. That's this dad. But he went to a funeral. One of the family members died of. Oh. Oh. So that doesn't answer why you're in Alabama then. It's. I'm confused. All right, so, so the website is gobrick.com. It's g o g o b r i k dot com. I don't remember what email address I used. Another thing that we do to each other is, uh, hey honey, do you want to know what you're getting for Christmas? Yeah. Find out in 23 more days. It's fun. It's fun. It's great. You're really going to like it. The, the worst part is, so she can't bend over. And she can't, you That's know. That's a weird start to a story. No, no, no. She can't get down on the ground by herself. So all her Christmas presents are under the tree, and she can't even touch them. Because she likes to pick them up and do the field test. Yeah. And one year, she picked it up and went, that's Andy's candies. And I'm sitting there going, I love Andy's candies. Nah, no, why would right. it be Andy's right. candies? Right. so back to registering. So you will go on gobrick.com, you sign in, Store. you make an account. It is free. Um, it turned off on us. Well, right. yeah. Uh, you sign in, you make an account. You can log in if you want it to be for a certain project. Um, you may be able to put them under our... Why does that look like the Leaning Tower of Pisa? I know. <laughs> oh, probably because the the bottom. Yeah, it could be too. Um, so that'll just have to be one that your butt sits on. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, you can put them for a project or you can just put them under like your own name and kind of, you know, whatever. Um, but you go to the bottom, you click Log Ecobrick. It says, I'm logging eco brick made by who? Me. What is the bottom color? Was it mostly white? I believe so. Just double check. Yeah, yep. that's all white. We actually. Brand the bottle is ice. Sparkling ice. Where is the plastic from? Community. What does it weigh in grams? 188. 188. What is the bottle's volume in ounces? Was it 17? 17. Seven, oop. Not negative 7. 17. 
Uh, what kind of eco brick is this? It is a regular eco brick. The other two choices are ocean brick and sig brick. I'm assuming a sig brick is made out of cigarettes. Huh. Not sure how that works. Um, and an ocean brick, <coughs> also not sure. Um, so just regular eco brick. Um, and do we want to allocate it to a community project? That's optional. Uh, no. We just want to put it in our bank, say that we have it in our possession. So you got the Sharpie? So then it gives you a serial number. Here, you gotta hold the phone. All right, so the serial number is one, two, five, six, one, one, 188 grams. Is not the force? Is it a force? No, it's not. Well, did you put the wrong date, or did it? No, do that? we also no. I didn't put the date. We um, also, we maybe also don't know what country this is. Yeah, in. that's what I was gonna say. Maybe wherever they're at, it is. So not then true. we put this back on here. The scale. You and you gotta have it so you can see. Cut. It says be sure to remove the label from your eco brand. Take your picture. All right. What kind of photo do you want to log? A basic. Take photo. Use photo. How did you inscribe the serial number with a permanent marker? We can turn off our scale. Yeah, because so one day we were doing these and uh, she goes ahead, she, she gets everything situated. And I totally turned that back on. And she goes, okay, uh, I got everything done. Oh, it wants us to take a picture of it. I'm like, okay, cool. But it's got to be on the scale showing the weight. So it was 188. Put it on the scale. It's coming up 189. We had to open it up and take a little bit of plastic <laughs> to get it to the right uh, weight. Yep, so... You just want to show, you got to have it focused, go up to the camera and then pull away. So, go down. So that tells you, no, go up a little bit. Forward, forward. So that tells you that we logged 1.17, I think it says, kilograms of plastic. See, 1.17. Um, so what happens then is when it goes on to the website, um, people, like other people can go on there and verify like, oh, okay, like it's this size bottle and this is your weight. Yep. That's a good eco brick. Um, so that's what happens from there. And oh, then, um, uh, yeah. And then there you have it. So it roughly took about an hour and a half. I will say it might be closer to an hour to make one eco brick. Um, it does help if you have more than one person. It does help if you're not talking and entertaining while you're doing it. It also helps um, if you cut up first and then start. Uh, yeah. So we kind of did like both. We kind of did like three or four different things at once. Um, so less than an hour to do an eco brick. Um, your first eco brick probably will take you all good part of an hour. Um, but as you go on, not even like that same time, but as you go on throughout your next couple days or weeks or whatever, um, it will become quicker for you. Like I said, we did four in one day, which was actually three because we just had to redo the one. Um, but we did three in a matter of like two hours. Um, so your your numbers will get better as you go. Um, but it's once a great you start project. getting into the groove. Yeah, like once you, it's kind of like wrapping Christmas gifts. Once you kind of get to the swing of it, it makes it a lot easier. Um, but yeah, if anybody has any questions or they want to know, like, you know, anything that we missed. I mean, I don't think we missed really anything. Um, but, you know, let us know. We won't be live this weekend. Um, I work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, but maybe we'll be live sometime next week. Um, not really sure what we'll be up to, but With us, it's always something. I know, it's always something. Maybe um, we'll do a mukbang. Maybe we'll 
do a cooking with Chuck. Who knows? Yeah, we'll do the apple pie. It's grandma apple pie recipe. Um, Which means we can't give out the actual recipe. Nope. Another recipe we can't give out. So if you've seen our previous videos where I made, what was it? Pumpkin bread? Pumpkin bread. Yeah, yeah. don't don't follow what you saw because there's stuff missing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was really good. Um, also, if you make pumpkin bread, don't add too much salt. That just kills it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you can use dog pumpkin if you don't have regular pumpkin. So, anyway. It just sounds so weird. Yeah. Dog pumpkin is the same thing as human pumpkin. It is, just sugar. no sugar. Yeah, so it's fine. Um, but when you do that, it can be a little... Yeah, I mean, there is, like, the side effect once you eat the pumpkin bread that, I mean, it kind of just, like... It, <sighs> I don't know, it's just, I'm really attracted to fire hydrants, I don't know why, just, just kidding, I'm totally kidding. Um, I chased yeah. a car that one day. Yeah, you did chase a car, you didn't get it though. Um, Almost. Yeah, like a mile off. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's it, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you guys have any questions, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, let us know. Um, any suggestions on what to make with our eco bricks? Holler. Um, of course, whenever we do get to the point where we are going to make something, we will go Facebook and YouTube live, um, just so that y'all can like laugh at our really horrible building skills because it's probably not going to go well. I don't know. It might be very similar to Lego, and I'm pretty. Uh, oh, and back. Well, wait. Back awesome to the whole that. like um, when you put the eco bricks together, and you sort of have to like use like this silicone stuff to like have them stick together um it was I, a good story i can tell you that prior to me meeting my husband i lived in this house alone and um i had really nasty like asbestos siding on the front of the house like the shingle things and um i had like this half brick wall in the front of the house so where the shingles came down and then the brick wall started there was this metal piece of flashing yes please yes i See? caught it um, but there's this metal piece of flashing that was like an L and, um, you know, it was like folded up. So I'm like, well, I'll go to Home Depot and I will buy new flashing and I will buy caulk and I will somehow like sort of like replace the flashing, which, uh, I'm not she really wanted to glue it guys. I'm not really sure how glue to it. do it because the metal flashing went up under the asbestos siding. So, um, like looking back at it, I don't know what my thought process was, but I really thought that if I bought a piece of metal flashing and caulk, that the caulk would be like glue. And the flashing would just glue itself to the brick wall lip. Um, can also say that after I found that was a fail, um, we had this stray cat that was always outside for like three years that annoyed the hell out of our baby cat who is like scared of his own shadow and only has one good eye. Um, this outside cat would like test her the ever loving crap out of our one indoor cat. So, um, we did buy these little like strips that are made for birds that have like the little like plastic finger things, like spikes, almost. like spikes. Like you go to Kmart or ShopRite and they're like in the letters so that way the pigeons don't sit in there and stuff. So we bought those off Amazon because um, we were going to put them on this, you know, fucking brick wall that we had because that's where the cat would sit and just bat at our bow window right there. Um, we didn't end up doing it, but then we wanted to do siding. And when we did siding, we naturally took part the brick wall because there was water issues behind it, whatever. Um, so we may or may not have spent a couple thousand dollars to get rid of the stray cat issue. Because guess what? Since we did the siding and got rid of the brick wall, no stray cat. What, we've seen him twice in the past three yeah. years? Not at our house. So we spent a couple thousand dollars to eradicate the stray cat issue. We spent a couple thousand dollars to get nice siding. Yes, but it just so happens. The stray cat issue was just a plus. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, so the flashing issue is now completely gone. Um, I did, you know... Years ago, I ended up bringing back the flashing and the caulk that I didn't use. And uh, I told the lady, you know, um, yeah, apparently caulk isn't like glue. No matter how long you hold it, that shit ain't glue. Um, so I do know for this project, I will not be using caulk. If we decide to make like some little hut, probably caulk to like make it waterproof. Might. Uh, right. Maybe a little hut, like a little igloo. <gasps> we can make an outdoor hut. 
for outdoor stray cats. I thought you were going to say we can make an igloo to save the penguins. Well, that too. We could build a hut for Phil. Wait! We can make a We TARDIS. can build a hut. Ooh, I like that. A TARDIS? We could build a hut. Really big hut. And I can fill it with Lego. How many huts? How many bottles are you making? I'm thinking like straight cat. I'm I'm thinking like, you know, 50 bottles to make like a little like, igloo hut. That would actually be pretty cool. How do we make it waterproof? Like a tarp? We can make the structure out of the eco bricks. And then put a tarp over top of it. And then it. like put a tarp and like make a little Dumb that... door. Kitty door. But then that then you're gonna cool. have the problem of like all these stray cats coming to your house. You make it seem like it's gonna attract stray cats. Oh my god! Oh, I'm a kitty cat! Did you know that there was a there was a hood made out of eco bricks at this house? No, I didn't. But I'm a skunk, so I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> no wonder you smell so bad. Oh, I do. I Ooh. think I need a bath. Oh, a home for baby Yoda. I don't have a baby Yoda. You don't have a baby Yoda. Oh. They have Lego baby Yoda. They also have the Razor Crest that comes with an itty bitty little baby Yoda. He's so cute. He's like, oh, no. although anyone that watches Mandalorian, kind of spoilerish, kind of not spoilerish, spoilerish. He has a name now, guys. He has a name. Yoda. No, it's not Yoda. It's not Baby Yoda. Oh. It's no longer just the child. He has a name. I won't say it. Not that it gives away anything, but I think it's cool to to see it on your own. So, oh, who wants to see a video Cut of me? Out. Who wants to see a video of me doing acrylic nails? Yes, haven't done acrylic nails in about <clears> twenty <throat> years, but I don't know what else to do with these bad boys. I don't have to do tips. I just got to do nails. Y'all can see that train wreck. Where are we staying, nose? Where are we staying? It was a fun I don't episode. know where are we staying. Where are we staying? And the uh, the special character that was there was kind of cool. I I, I like the throwback there. I know it was really cool. Your haircut, <laughs> your quarantine cut. You will nail it. Ha ha! All right. Well, we're gonna end it for now. <laughs> we're gonna end it for nail. She gonna get me with these scissors, guys. Yep. <sighs> No. Um, I'm going to put them down now. Um, but yeah, so we'll have to make something pretty cool. Maybe we'll do like a little hut for like cats or something. Or, or Yoda. Okay. I like that idea. Um, but yeah, all right. So we're out. And as we always say, Toodles! That's our clock, by the way. Yeah. I like fire trucks. A lot. Toodles! Toodles!